Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's Steve. I hope everyone's having a good day. Today, I wanted to record a quick video because I, as an OBS kind of noob, I don't know much about this program other than I kind of know how to use it to, sh to like stream one thing. Um, I saw an option called virtual camera. And of course, I wanted to know what it was. So I looked it up and it is a really cool feature that you could kind of use for um, a lot of things. I think Zoom, Teams meetings, um, Google uh, services and stuff like that. I think whatever you use for like um, conference calls, virtual conference calls, you could use virtual camera. Um, so I'll tell you kind of what it is or show you how to how to use it at least a simple way. So I took a screen grab because I know it's crazy if I um, wanted to show this portion. And yeah, I'm here in my freaking tank top. But when you're in OBS and I'm on a Mac and I'm using the most up-to-date software and as of now, that's Big Sur version 11.5.2. But if you're using a Mac and you're on your OBS, right in this corner in the controls, you'll see start virtual camera. So right now mine's off. So I'll just go on here and I'll turn it on. So now my virtual camera is on and you see nothing happened to this camera. Like it doesn't do anything to what I'm showing you now. So let me remove the picture. Remember it's right here. Just click start virtual camera. And now I'm going to test it in zoom. So let me pull the app over here and you guys could see I have my zoom app open. So what I want to do um, I'm not going to start a Zoom call. I'm just going to go to Zoom and then Preferences and then Video. So right now, my Zoom um, is using my Logitech camera. And that's what I have right here selected, the C922 Pro streaming webcam. So if I were using Zoom, I obviously would be using my webcam. And this is what you would see. But since I have virtual camera on, what that does is if you go into your options, you'll see OBS virtual camera now. So if I click that, now what you see on my Zoom is exactly what you're seeing on this stream or this video. It's just pulling my content from OBS. And now in the Zoom meeting, uh, people will see my OBS, if that makes sense, which is pretty cool because if I have OBS open and I'm just screen sharing, like if I'm, if I want to screen share a document, like an Excel file, I could just do it in OBS and not have to worry about um, anybody else, like not being able to see it. And they could see me and that uh, document at the same time. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I just figured out how to use it like 10 minutes ago and it's pretty neat. So again, I'll go back just using my regular webcam this is what it will look like, just me, like you're seeing in the little box down there. And then if I have virtual camera, um, and I'll get the picture up again for you guys, in OBS, right down here, start virtual camera. That's all you have to do. And the newest version of OBS, it's already there. I don't know about the older version. Um, you might have to download it, but all you have to do is click start virtual camera and then open I don't want to say any of your apps. I just know it works on Zoom. And then your video source is not going to be your webcam. It's going to be your OBS virtual camera. And there it is. You could use OBS definitely on Zoom. Uh, I don't know about Skype or Google Meet, but um, the article I read, it said you can, but I haven't tested it because I don't use those very often. <sighs> So pretty cool. That is how you use virtual camera from OBS on Zoom. If you want to do cool screen shares where you are presenting yourself and a screen at the same time and you don't want to use like the Zoom screen share. I don't know if there are any benefits to this. I think it's just pretty cool because it's like a one-stop shop. You could set it up in OBS the way you want it to show on the screen and it's just there. So once you select the virtual camera, you're good to go. And that's about it. So I hope this video was helpful for anybody who uses OBS like me, who's pretty new and doesn't know all the, uh, the really cool features. If there are any other features you want me to kind of dig into, let me know and I'll research them and see if I can learn how to do them pretty quickly. But that's pretty much it. So like, subscribe, hit that notification bell like you guys have been doing. And I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.